Good morning. Welcome to the parish community of Mary, Mother of God. We would especially like to welcome our new parishioners and all those visiting with us this weekend. Today we celebrate the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin our celebration in song. Please join in singing number 526, Holy Wisdom, Lamp of Learning, hymn number 526 in your Breaking Bread Missal. Please rise and join in singing. parish family gathers to thank and worship Almighty God in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let each of us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the living bread that came down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent by the Father to bring life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved children, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lamb leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sandals will become pools and the thirsty ground 
springs of water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, so show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of Decapolis. People brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Emphratata, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Those of us who follow such things and care about such things know that the football season begins right now and the baseball playoffs will soon begin in in a month or so, we'll have a World Series champion. Now, those of you who really follow it closely know that for years, there, uh, there was a narrative that was very interesting that had people paying more attention than maybe the casual fan would. Namely, that the Boston Red Sox had not won a World Series in 80 years. Now, I'm only 67 years old. Think about that. It went 80 years without winning. Just by luck, every 30 or 40 years, you think you'd win. And Boston's a major city, and the owner, Yawkey, had a lot of money. It wasn't that he was cheap. He had money to spend. And so they blamed it on what they called the, the curse of the Bambino, namely that the Red Sox had traded Babe Ruth in his prime so they, the guy could finance no no Nanette on Broadway. The whole story, whole myth about why they never won, that there was a curse against them. Now, my friends here and those at home, if you're, if you're honest with yourself, you know it had nothing to do with the Red Sox trading Babe Ruth. It had to do with the fact that they were racist and they would not let a black player play for the Boston Red Sox. So while Jackie Robinson played for the Dodgers and the Yankees integrated years before they did, they were always winning and the Red Sox would never win. It had nothing to do with the myth. The myth was an excuse was that they didn't want a black player playing for them. So the black players, you can go sit, you can go sit over there while the Yankees were always winning. It's not hard to figure out how it works if you're honest with yourself. It had to do with race, not skill. And the same thing can be true in the church, in a way. Now, we don't get St. James very often. We get St. Paul 90% of the time in those second readings. But today, Elizabeth read for us from James. We only hear a couple times. He said, you know, the, well, the poor people are, you, you go sit over there. And the rich people were being allowed to sit here in front. But the poor people were over there. Yeah, that was happening to church. It's not just the Red Sox that had issues with partiality. It happened in the era. There's never been an era in the church where everything was good. There's always been challenges in every church. So the poor sit over there. Like the black player wasn't allowed in Boston, Beantown. Isn't it funny how that, how that happened? And they never won. And the, the poor person, get, get, get out of here. You can sit in the last row. Isn't it funny? And they call themselves Christians. That's what's really funny about it. Well, there, are, there are two churches, two Catholic churches in Lackawanna County that bring an awful lot of people to church. And you're sitting in one of them. Okay? Like, our, our, I have friends who see 40 people at a Sunday Mass. That church is going to close. You, you can't pay the bills with 40 people. It just doesn't work. The mathematics won't work. 
The 11 o'clock mass here on a good day has 400 people. I have friends who don't see that all month. We see it in one hour. Why? Because everybody here is welcome. And that's, that's not me, that's you. We have people who came from Italy, people who came from Poland. It, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody here is welcome. It, just, it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. I don't know and I don't care. Everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Everybody's welcome. It doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. Everybody's welcome. There's one other church that has a similar approach, and it's packed. That church isn't big enough. Now, this is a massive building. It do, it do, it's not big enough because everybody's welcome. You know, the, ba- the mother comes in who's not married, has got the baby. Some places will give that, that baby a hard time getting baptized. Just bring, just bring them. We'll baptize them. It, it doesn't matter. It just... You come to 11 o'clock Mass, and some of you are 11 o'clock Mass people. That's a, that's a wild Mass. And there's babies screaming and crying and kids misbehaving, and that's perfect. That's wonderful. Other places, they'd be asked to leave. Here, they're asked to stay. It just, it just there's no partiality. It doesn't matter. One thing matters. You. You are all that matters. You know, when we sing that song, and, and Jillian picks it a lot, all are welcome, all are, are they? Are they really welcome? Does your race, what language you speak? That, 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 in some places that matters. Here it doesn't matter. Like, you, know, you know what sister spends a lot of her time doing? The kid's 17 and never got communion or confirmation. Okay, that's going to take a lot of work to get that kid up to speed. He missed years, a decade. So we'll work. they send us their kids because they don't want to be bothered. Here, sign up right here, and we'll work with you because they're just as important as me and you. Even if they never go to church, we'll work with them. We'll bury them, whatever. Just come. It's not like that everywhere. It's just only one group get special treatment. And that's the poor. The bathing suit drive, the backpack giveaway last month, we're sending sandwiches down, the deacon and I with the kids will make sandwiches for the Keystone Mission down by Scranton High School because that's what Jesus said to do. Give them priority attention. They're the only people that are treated differently here. Because you're going to get judged not by whether you came to church but by whether you took care of the poor. And everybody's going to face the Lord. That's the only question they're going to ask. They're not going to ask if you came to church. They're going to say, did you take care of the poor? And we try to give you chances to do that. And it works. They'll be fed today. The Red, the Red, the Red Sox finally did win in 2003 or four. Finally. We're, we're not here about winning games. We're here about winning souls. For Jesus. And about that, he cares a lot. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll profess our faith in Almighty God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We put our prayers before Almighty God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the clergy and lay people of the Catholic Church, that the Holy Spirit accompany them always, keeping their hearts humble, courageous, and joyful as they live out their mission of service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they be granted wisdom in advancing efforts towards world peace and not to be compromised by self-interest or blind indifference, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have experienced abuse, discrimination, or hatred, that God will hear, heal their pain and renew their spirits, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders, our military, and those tasked with perilous work, that the Holy Spirit may guide them and protect them daily, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, that they may gather strength by seeing the face of God in one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially for Stanley Bellick, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may be with Jesus in heaven forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us end our petitions by praying the vision prayer. Jesus, Jesus we, we are, are your people. people. We, we praise, praise you as Savior and Lord. Lord. Deep in our, our commitment to you, to you your church, church, and each other. other. Let us all share more actively in spreading the good news of God present among us. Help us reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel of compassion and love and service to those in need. Mindful of our many blessings, we are especially grateful for your gift of our parish family. Family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, Spouse, Joseph, and our beloved saints, Anthony, Vincent, Stanislaus, and Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us alive as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you. Amen. As the gifts are presented and the altar is prepared, please join in singing number 402, There is a Longing, hymn number 402 in your Breaking Bread Missal.
pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O oh God, who give us the gift of prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of this sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by our Lord's birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By rising from the dead, he opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we join in an unending hymn of your praise. gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body, and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of the faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you, but not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. During communion, please join in singing number 344, Gift of Finest Wheat, hymn number 344 in your Breaking Bread Missile.
Please be seated, my friends. Tickets are rapidly selling for the Radio City Christmas show trip in early December. We have not run that trip since, well, pre-COVID. So I expect it will be filled up very soon. So act while seats are available. Our fall night of reflection up at Mendocino's, which features the diocesan director of all parish ministries, a very good friend of mine, excellent speaker about pass passing the faith on to another generation of people, practices that work. He had a dinner and, and a, a talk for $15. You couldn't get that anywhere else. So it's, it should be a good night. That's in early October. So lots of stuff coming up, children's Halloween party and all sorts of stuff going on. So it's been a kid's start, CCD. Today. Isn't it great? Back to school. Back to school. Joe, I don't think they like that. Whatever. Let us pray. Grant your faithful Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, <coughs> through the food of your word and the Eucharist, may so benefit us from your Son's beloved gifts that we may merit an eternal share with you in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God blesses our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.